All right, let's go over market open. So now we know that the bank has a move, right? We, we now identify the market as a game. We know the moves that they use, right? Consolidation, expansion, and retracements, right? Um, we know how to measure their moves with the FIB. Um, we're now identifying candle patterns as the bank's first move, consolidation, right? Um, we learned briefly about uh, sessions and time, right? How there's an importance of time and price. Like around this time, I want to see maybe a candle pattern or consolidation clearly above or below, right? Now it's like above or below what? Let's give ourselves framework, right? So that's where market open comes into play. Market open is 6 p.m. Eastern, okay? On trading view, it's the 1800 candle, you know, when switched to the UTC4 New York. It's the 1800 candle. So 6 p.m., right? So let's take that in for a second. Um, I trade indices. Um, usually you get a lot of value in New York, right? So that would be the next day, right? So 6 p.m., say on a Sunday, we find it, we identify it, we box that candle out and we stretch it out to the right. So now we have a target. We're giving ourselves framework. What we want to identify is price above or below that box, right? So we allow Asia and New York to, I mean, Asia and London to play out, right? Show their hand. And we wait for, we wait for um, New York, right? So market opens, Asia, boom, right? Colon, then it goes up, we're in London. Now we're in New York. What's this? This is clear consolidation, right? Happening above our box. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our fib, right? To that high, down to the bottom of our box, and we're gonna execute, right? Stop loss would be at the 110 take profit at the 23, and then what happens? Price goes ahead and walks down. Wow. TP is smack, right? Take profit. Like I said, if price goes through, you take profit, and you don't take profit, I'm going to be the first one to tell you that you deserve to lose. You know, and I say that to say this, because it could go hit that 23, right? Not break this low, but then all of a sudden shoot its way up, right? And it's like, Oh, I broke even or it took me out. No, accountability leads to profitability, right? You were at your take profit. You should have gotten paid. You held it. That's the reason why you lost, right? The biggest takeaway of that is the word you, right? It's you. It's not the market. Respect the fib, right? The fib's telling you this is your money. Take your money. Right, because it could come shoot up here, and then guess what? Now it comes up here and then it consolidates. Well, guess what? Now we have clear consolidation above that target again. Now that's an even more of a TP. Slap it. You just got paid. You're playing with the bank's money. What did the bank do? Oh, took out somebody's stop losses, clear to high, then shot down. All right? Same thing on sales. I mean, this would be a sale. Same thing on buys. Asian session, right? Market opens. Boom, Asian session come through. Boom, do this. All of a sudden, we're in London. Chilling. Now we're this is New York, 9 30, 10 30 in the morning, right? And what happens? Clear consolidation below. What are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and set our FIB up for the buy. We're saying, hey, this is our low. We don't want to break it low, consolidate, expand, retrace at big discount. Let me go ahead and enter for a buy right here. Boom. At a big discount, stop loss will be here. Take profit at the 23. Right. And then what happens? Price goes. All right. Bounces at the 75. Boom. TP is smack. And then same thing like I mentioned here. Take your money. Right. Because see, if it comes down. 
And now it just swept those lows. But then guess what? Now we have another clear consolidation. It's like probably around 12 o'clock or something. Who knows? All right. But it's clear consolidation below. You would fib this and it's going to walk its way right back up. All right. So now, now that we have ourselves some type of framework, let's find this on the chart. Okay, so we can go ahead and start at the one hour if we wanted to, right? Um, or you could be on the lower time frames. I usually go on the lower time frame just because uh, 6 p.m. is always going to be 6 p.m., right? 1800 is always going to be the 1800. So why not go in and, like, you know, look at the chart at 605 and then stretch my box out, right? So let's go ahead and just so I could focus more on this area. Uh, let's see, I want to do it like this. Boom. All right. So say, right, this is what we have. So what we want to identify is the 1800 box, right? So let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, 1800 is 6 p.m. on trading view it's a lot simpler to on um the mt4 with the sessions you know all you need to do is just box out the candle that's on that line so this candle right here this green candle this is 1800 so this is going to end up being our target right later on in new york right or say if we woke up for london then we'll wake up for london um the main thing is is we want to give ourselves framework right so what we do is we go ahead and we'll go to this area right where it has a square right and if you want you can click this go to rectangle star it so it becomes one of your favorites right and then what you want to do is you're going to go body to body of this candle right so you're just going to go ahead and click and then drop it down and you're going to stretch it out to the right right you're going to stretch it out to the right and then we can fix that once we um after we stretch this out right let me go ahead and stretch this out like this to about i don't know that 1500 i guess all right and then we could go ahead and zoom back in here to this candle just to make sure you see we're at body to body all right i'm on the five minute um you know the candle will probably be smaller on a two minute three minute if you want it a little smaller you definitely can all right so the main thing is that this is your target box all right this is your target box and to to make it more convenient to you know you could double click it and you could type in here um you know 1800 target box and then create a, a template right save as and mine's i call it market open Right. So inside there or outside, it'll say market open target box candle. Right. So that when I wake up. I know what this box is. And what I want to find pretty much is consolidation above or below. So remember, like in Asia and stuff, could you have uh, taken a trade? Right. If you put this box at 605 and then all of a sudden, you know, hour later, uh, two hours. Yeah. Uh, not even a half an hour later. You see clear consolidation below i mean yeah you can set your fib up and take that by you know same thing here possibly you know consolidation above take your your bread at the 23. you know um the main thing is to respect your fib on those but what i'm telling you is that if you wait and you allow you know um the bank to show his hand and you know that there's more volume in new york then what you really want to see is price to be furthest away from your box. You know, the further, the better. If we're down below, then what are we going to do? We're going to buy up. If price goes and then price moves up here and does this, what are we going to do? We're going to set our FIB up for a sale, right? If above, we're looking for sales. If below, we're looking for buys. All right. Stop loss at the 110. TP at the 23, right? So remembering the sessions, right? Remembering the sessions, time is key, time is important. Um, 
So I would usually wake up, you know, like around 6, 630 in the morning. Um, it's just before that gap time in New York. Um, so sometimes if I see consolidation above that, I'll set my fib up and I will go for a sale or a buy. Right. Or for sure, around eight o'clock, um, you know, say eight o'clock, nine o'clock, you see consolidation above. You're going to want to enter for a um, sale if you're above and a buy if you're below. So let's go ahead and let this play out and see what happens, right? This is London, now we're getting to New York. So now check it, now we're in New York, right? So remember, time is important. So this is 7.55, it's about to be eight o'clock. So if you've seen that right there, right? And this is on the five minute, right? If we were to drop down to say the two minute, right? This is clear consolidation happening below. Right, we cleared this London low, and we're like, ah, you know what? Let me go ahead and just fib this and just click buy. Right, we're a little late, but we're still below the 50, so it's a discounted area. You know, your stop loss will be down here, right? Take profit at the 23. I mean, just for you know, whatever, let's see what would happen. Boom, right? Okay, that's awesome. You would have got paid, right? And look what she did, she consolidated. It expanded up and it retraced where to a big discount, all right? So then now instead of you buying it here, you could have bought it again right here, right? Same stop loss, same target. Guess what? Target got hit, and it's in New York. So then now you're already playing with the bank's money. You could be done, right? You could be done and be like, hey, I'm gonna do this again tomorrow, or I'm gonna do it when it's a lot more further away from my box, maybe at ten thirty, maybe at twelve, right? But for now, you definitely hit profit just following the moves of being above or below your target box that was given to you at 6 p.m. the day before, right? 6 p.m. the day before. Your target for today was given to you yesterday, right? So let's see what else happens to it. Boom. So what's crazy is, look, we took profit, right? But then right down here, this is 9.30. A lot of times 930 is usually, um, you know, when the opening bell happens and stuff like that. Right. Um, so you early would have took your bread. Right. So then say this right here. Why would you have entered here? This is a nameable candle pattern. Right. And I'm pretty sure. Let's see what happens on the one minute. Hmm. Now that the nameable candle pattern looks more like. A W, right? Or clear consolidation. Or let's check this out. Squiggly line below our box, right? So price came down, price went flat, right? So we're like, okay, this is the low. Remember, we don't care if we're getting the elite entry. We don't want that. We want the elite entry to form so that it could place like an anchor, right? So this nameable candle pattern consolidated, it expanded, and it retraced. Where? 88% off, big discount. Right. Oh, I'm buying it. Right. Click buy. I know my stop loss is at the 110. Take profit at the 23. You would have been paid. You would have been paid. And. You know, that's that's the move. You know what I'm saying? Like the main move is really to respect the fib. Right. That's why I'm always going down to the smaller time frames, because your target was given to you the day before. And it's going to take a lot of one minute candles to get to where you wanted it to go. Right. So from like right here, from 756 to about 851, almost a whole hour. Right. Almost a whole hour. You had to convince yourself that you're in consolidation below your box. Right. Because if we would have fibbed that from this low. To this high. I mean, <laughs> it came right back, big discount, stop loss down here, TP at the 23. You're paid. And you definitely would have got paid right here. Boom, you would have got paid, and then she shot down. And guess what? Gave you another opportunity. Take your money. Take your money and be good. Do it again. Just know it's going to happen again the next day, right? So now, let's go ahead. And go to that next day. All right. So 
Let's go back to the bigger time frame. We'll say the 15 just to see where we are. All right. And this was Monday. All right. So later on in Monday at 6 p.m., you're going to go ahead and you're going to put a box, right? And that's going to be your target. And it's this candle right here, right? And let's go ahead and zoom in. All right, let's zoom in and see this candle. All right, it's this one. All right, so that gets planted. What are we going to do? We're going to find this candle, 605 or whatever, and we're going to stretch this candle out to the right. All right. I'm going to stretch this candle out to the right. I remember these candles here, they're not going to be here yet. All right? But we just seen it happen on this one. So we'll just start start just stretching this box out. Granted, we're going to go ahead and once I create the MT4 and show you guys how to, how to do this on the MT4, I'll execute it on an actual live trade so that you'll see it as well in action. All right. So what we want to identify, right, is consolidation to go above or below around these certain times. So let me just go ahead and close uh, this session out right here. Right. And this is on the 15 minute. All right. So this target, remember, this target was given to you at 6 p.m. the day before. So what you're going to do is. At 6 p.m., after you set that box, you're done, right? You're chilling, right? You either wait until later on, either in Asia, right? This is around, I don't know, um, 10 p.m., right? 10.45, right? Imagine if you would have seen consolidation, you would have been like, man, I'm far away from my box. It's the squiggly lines happening above my box. Let me go ahead and fib this high down to the bottom, right? From here, this was consolidation, expansion, retracement. Where we came, 79% off. You could have entered for the sale or just entered again for the sale. Stop loss at the 110. Take profit at the 23. You pay, right? Or say you're like, yo, I'm going to go ahead and wake up for um, London. You know what I'm saying? And what does this do? It's consolidated. It expanded, right? Up here. Now, this is around 4 a.m., Clear consolidation happening above our box. And then, mind you, remember, this is a nameable candle pattern, right? These two together like this. Let's go ahead and drop down to the two-minute and identify that consolidation a lot more clearer, right? Because remember, your target, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere, right? Let's, let's look at Asia real quick, too. Look at this. That was a nameable candle pattern up here. Right, what did price do? It consolidated, it expanded, and it retraced. Right, where are you at a big discount? What's up here? 110. What's down here? Take profit. Are you paid? Yes, did you lose money? Absolutely not. You know, absolutely not. You know, but now we're in London, right. On the smaller time frame, somebody would have seen this clear consolidation. Let's see if they would have just fibbed this consolidation from 310 down to the bottom of their box. Wow, they definitely would have took their cigar, right? The 35, take your cigar. It's it's usually when they say close, but no cigar. You know what I'm saying? Just like JB says, if you're that close, take your cigar, right? So you could have took your bread. But then now this is what we circled up here, this clear consolidation. All right, let me take this circle out. And now look what happened. Look what happened. Nameable candle pattern, right? Consolidation, expansion, retracement. Where are you? Discounted areas, right? Where's your stop loss? Up here, right? Is that squiggly line above or below your box? We're above. When we're above, what do we look for? We look for sales. Right. Let me set my fib for a sale. Right. Now I know my risk. I know my reward. 
my reward is always going to outweigh my risk, right? Let me go ahead and, and take that trade. And guess what happens? You would have been paid. And that's London, right? Mind you, our main move is in New York, right? So like I said, sometimes I wake up around 6, 6.30. I wake up around 6, 6.30. And then what do I do? I look for consolidation above or below, right? And right here, I'm below. So I would set my fib right here. And what happens? Price consolidates. It expands. And it retraces. Where are we? Full discount. Full 100% retracement. Right? Big discount. Enter for a buy. Stop losses here at the 110. Take profit at the 23. Guess what? You're paid. Right? And that probably wasn't even the main move. Because then now, guess what? Price goes and keeps going up. Price went up. Price went flat. Now look at this. Price went up. Price went flat. This is a candle pattern. We consolidated. We expanded. We retraced, right? The squiggly line is above our box. What are we going to do? We're going to set our FIB from this high down to the bottom of this box. And we already know our risk is at the 110. Our take profit is at the 23. Boom, what happens? She goes from the consolidation. The next move is expansion and expands straight to the downside. You would have been paid. TP at the 23, right? TP at the 23. The move is more valuable than the money, right? The main thing is identifying, are you above or below your box, right? And if you're below, you're going to look for buys. If you're above, you're going to look for sales, right? As simple as that. And then rinse and repeat, do it again the next day, right? Do it again the next day, right at the end of the session. Boom, what happens here? Look at the bank's move. Consolidation, expansion, retracement. Where are we? Full retracement, big discount, stop loss. Was it violated? Absolutely not. Where's your money? At the 23. Where does it go? To your money at the 23 and say you didn't take your money. Remember, if you don't take your money, I'm going to be the first one to tell you you lose because look what happens. It takes the person out, but then guess what it gives you? Clear consolidation above your box. Right? You could have fit from up here down to the bottom of that box. Boom. TP at the 23. Are you paid? Yes. Why did we enter that sale? Because when we're above, we look for sales. And when we're below, we look for buys. As simple as that. Is the squiggly line above or below? All right. So let's go ahead and go to another um, the next day. All right. So that was Monday and Tuesday. You were profitable. Monday and Tuesday, you were profitable with the move. All right. So then now, later on that Tuesday, you're going to go ahead and you're going to find 6 p.m., which is the 1800. All right, it should be right here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. It's crazy, right? <laughs> so, boom. Right, there's the 1800, this red candle right here. So the same thing like how we did with this, right? We'll go ahead and if you want to clone this, you could, right? Or just grab a box, right? Grab the box, cover from the top of the body to the bottom of the body, right? And you're going to stretch that out to the right. All right. Let's go ahead and stretch this out. Okay, it's about there. Cool. So remember, the session is going to let you know, dang, am I going to wake up for London? You know, or let's see, do I got some action in Asia? You know, around 10 o'clock? We got consolidation around 10 p.m. Eastern, above. Could you have entered for that sale? Yeah, why not? You know, you could have entered for that sale. 
for sure. All right? Was your stop loss violated? No. You know, the main thing is just to respect the, the what's it called, right? Because say if this move didn't play out in Asia, say you took a loss, how do you turn that loss into a lesson? Well, okay, it's not New York, right? My main move is in New York, right? Early, so I don't mind losing whatever it is. Granted, my loss is only going to be minimal, right? At the 110. The reward is always going to outweigh it. And what happens here? We got clear consolidation. It expands. It retraces. Where? Full retracement. Right? Sell it. Click sell. And what happens here? Consolidation, expansion, retracement. What happens? Big discount. <laughs> you can sell it again if you want to. Same TP. And what gets smacked? Take profit. Stop loss, not violated. Right? This is in Asia. London. Right? They open up around three. All right, you got consolidation above. You could have sold it. Let's say you missed it. All right, fine. Guess what this did? This swept this low, right? Took out whoever bought this, took out their stop loss. But then now what do we have? Nameable candle pattern. I'm pretty sure that's on one of those on the PDF, right? So this is consolidation, expansion, retracement. Did we break this low? Absolutely not. Guess what? We're in consolidation below our box. Right, so let's go ahead and set our fib for the buy. Why not? Enter for the buy. Our stop loss is down here. Guess what? Gets hit. TP at the 23. We get another opportunity. Price gets super clear, right? We're way down below our box. Consolidated, expansion, retracement, right? That's all it did. It consolidated here, expanded, and it retraced. It didn't break this low. That's where your stop loss would have been. And guess what? This is consolidation happening below your box. You're at a big discount. Stop loss is down here. You know your risk. You know your reward. Guess what? TP gets smacked. You're paid. And now this is when the real move happens, right? Now we're in New York. So now this is when I wake up around 6, 630, and I start to look for consolidation above or below, right? I know market opens at 8, right? At 8 o'clock, we have a nameable candle pattern. But guess what we got? At 7, between 7.20 and 7.40. For 20 minutes, right, price went up and price went flat. And guess what? We're far away from our box. Clear consolidation happening above our box, right? You set this fib down to the bottom of this box. Boom. Click sale. All right? If you click sale, sale. Stop losses up here. Take profit here, right? On one of these other entries, you leave it running, you know, to battle the greed within. But always take profit on one. And guess what happens? It takes profit. But then guess what happens here? Like I said, 8 a.m., we have a nameable candle pattern above our box. If you wanted to, you could go ahead. You got this trade already running. You could go ahead and fib from this nameable candle pattern. So then now your stop loss for this entry is here. Same TP at the 23, right? You enter and guess what? It consolidates, it expands, and it retraces. Where does it retrace to? Almost full retracement. Big discount, right? Consolidation. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Right? Nameable candle pattern right here above. Consolidation, expansion, retracement. Discounted areas, right? Stop loss right here. Enter for the sale. Take profit at 23. Guess what? You're paid. You're paid. Right? And it was gone. It was off to the races with that one. Right? But then now, this is New York. So then now, say so you went, you took profit, price came down, price went flat. Let's see what time this is. 11, 12 o'clock. Right? A lot of times, with, say you entered up here, if you don't hit TP early, you want to be out the trade around 11, 12. Why? Because it tends to reverse around that time. And the best part is that now we have framework. So now all we have to do is identify, damn, am I above or below my box? And you see you're clearly below, right? The squiggly line is below our box, right? And then price came down, consolidation, expansion, retracement, right? Let's go ahead and fib this low to this high, boom, all right? Now we know our stop loss is here. Even if we fib this low, 
right? Our stop loss is here. What did this do? This consolidated, it expanded, and it retraced, right? Full retracement. Stop loss right here is not violated. Then what did it do here? Consolidated, expanded, retracement. Where are you? Big discount. You could answer it again for a buy here, all right? Consolidation, expansion, retracement. Where are we? 70% off. Consolidation, expansion, and guess what? You're paid. What was never hit? Your stop loss. And why were we in this trade for a buy? Because when we're below, we're looking for buys. This target was given to us the day before. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you just hit TPs following this move. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on NAS 100. All right. Granted, it happens on every pair, but we're talking NAS 100 right now. All right. So then, now price goes up. All right. It chills, boom. And it shoots down and does all this other stuff. And then look, we got this target here on this day, right? If we follow the same rule right here with this 1800, we'll see, oh man, it only worked in, it didn't work here though, Sam, it didn't work here. Well, I'm gonna tell you in the next slide, why not? I'm gonna tell you in the next slide, why not? That's when I break down the four hour for you. But right now you see, okay, so you just follow the rules. Okay, fine. You would have hit it in Asia. You could have sold it down or in London could have bought it up, right? New York, you would have tried and you would have lost. Okay. So we were right Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, we were wrong. But let's see if we would have followed the same exact rules on that Friday. All right, so this is our target box, okay? Given to us that Thursday at 6 p.m., right? I wake up around 6, 7 o'clock, got consolidation below, right? Say I lost that trade before, and it was only, you know, at the 110, so it was a small percentage. Did I just gain my percentage right back? Absolutely, right? Was that the main move? No. Nope. But I'm paid. Now I'm playing with the bank's money and I got my money back. But then now, guess what? 9.30, 9.50, 10 o'clock, we got clear consolidation below. Price came down, price went flat, right? The squiggly line is below our box. We could go ahead and we would fit. Remember, we're not gonna, we're not gonna hit this elite entry, right? But we wanna make sure this elite entry is not broken. So, Right now, we already know, okay, stop losses will be here, right? So we see this name bull candle pattern, price consolidated and expanded and retraced, right? So then right here, it's consolidating, right? Remember, these are two minutes. So this is about four minutes, right? So it's just consolidating there. You can go ahead and click the buy. You already know where your stop loss will be, right? Or say you waited, consolidation, expansion, and retracement. Okay, cool. So now instead of at 10.02, at 10.10, about six minutes, you just seen again, you're at another big discount. You know, 79% off. Clear consolidation below. Is the squiggly line above or below? Are we above or below our box, right? We should not be clicking sale while we're below. We should be clicking buy, right? We click buy. Guess what? Stop loss not violated. Guess what gets hit? TP at the 23. You're done. You're good. You're done for the day, right? Not only did you make up earlier with this entry, from what you lost on that um, Wednesday, right? What's it called? I mean, on that Thursday, but now you have clear consolidation below. You would early made your money back plus an extra, extra couple dollars, right? Took bread. And then now you got clear consolidation below your box. Take your money. You know what I mean? And be done. Could you have taken this right here? Of course you could have, right? But at that point, you just got to know you know, to respect your fib, know who you're battling, right? You're not battling the market. You're battling the greed within, right? But at the same time, we can defeat the greed within by respecting our fib, right? Like, okay, well, if I do lose, I'm only going to lose a little bit of what I just profited. Hence, you still be a profitable loser, right? We consolidated, 
It expanded. Okay, then you early with the NTP, but then right here, retracement. Where are we at? Big discount. Enter for the buy. And what she do? She walk right up to the 23. You're paid. Take your money, right? Because if you don't take your money at the 23, I'm the first one to tell you that you deserve to lose. Consolidation above or below our box, right? Our target box is given to us every day the day before, right? So every day at 6 p.m., our target is given, right? So let's go ahead and go back to the what's it called. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, man, Thursday, we lost. And I'm going to show you why so that this won't happen again, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, eh, right? Friday, boom. That's a beautiful week. Now, like I said, this happens every single week. Because every week, there's a 6 p.m., right? Every week, you have a target. There's power in the back test, right? You find the 1,800. Shit, are we above and below? Shit, we're below. 7 o'clock, damn, TP, I'm good. So right here, London, psh, below, would have bought it, right? There's power in back test. You see, you start moving it around. Are you above and below? Yeah, I'm looking for sales, All right? From my above and below, I would have sold it, then I would have bought it up. Beast, right? Consolidation above or below. Give yourself framework. Give yourself framework. The move is more valuable than the money. Respect your fib. If you're below, you buy. If you're above, you sell. What's that target? 6 p.m. Eastern. On trading view, it's 1800. I'll show you on an MT4. You just hit control Y and that line's gonna appear up and down. It's gonna just drop just like this. Boom. All right. So whatever candles on that dotted line, you'll go and just box that candle out on the MT4. But in the meantime, 1800 on trading view. Are we above or below? All right. If we're above, we're looking for sales. If we're below, we're looking for buys. Market opens your target box. There's a magnet on that box. You'll see. There's power and back test. Don't take my word for it. I'll see you on the next slide where I'll break down the four hours.